This morning we're going to deal with a little bit of a sensitive halakha. Since it's coming up in our limud, this is where we're up to, we're going to mention it. But it happens, a person who has a family member who is, as we say in Hebrew, a goses. He is terminally ill and it's got to the point where they are completely living off the life support and or the doctors say there's absolutely no chance for survival and we're talking within days or weeks and it's a very very sad situation. We learned about the bracha, the eighth bracha in our amida, the bracha of Rifainu, the bracha when we ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Refuah Shaman, we're able to insert names of people in there as we said. Are we supposed to pray for Refuah Shema for this individual? Are we supposed to do nothing? Or are we supposed to pray that a Kadosh Baruch Hu should, hate to put it this way, spare this individual from his suffering or her suffering and take them without suffering? So listen to this. It's not clear cut. You have some Rishonim and Achronim saying that we're never allowed to pray for someone to pass away, even if they're terminally ill. You have others that use the terminology Again, we can't translate it this way, but shame on you. How can you pray for someone to keep on living if they're suffering so much? So listen to what Chacham Vadi Yosef does. And it makes a lot of sense. He says, first of all, in such a case, you would have to consult with a competent Rav to see what the case is. Very often, doctors tell us that it's over and we know that it's not over. Doctors say it's within days, within weeks, and sometimes it takes a lot longer. So that's, that's first of all. So always good to consult with someone who knows these halachot well. Secondly, he says, that for others to pray for that person to pass away, that's proper. But for a child to pray for their father or mother, chas v'shalom, even though they're suffering tremendously, to pass away and go in peace is not a simple thing to do. It's, it's not a simple thing to do. Even others. Imagine you have someone who's terminally ill, they're suffering, they're, they're through, through a feeding tube. We're not talking about unplugging chas v'shalom. That's, that's for sure not allowed. But the way the halakha is, is that if it's not a person's family, parent, put it that way, and they are suffering tremendously, and the rav was consulted, and they are in horrible, horrible, terminally ill, we are allowed to pray for that individual in order that he passes in peace, passes without continued suffering. For children to do that, it would be a very, very, very uh, in, in a special situation, a very, very sad situation. So again, children for parents not, others for the individual yes, again, all with consulting a rabbi to know if, this, if the case would qualify or not. So again, may all, may I call all of Klai Yisrael have a refuah and everyone be healthy and happy. But this case does come up, and it's important to note. Tonight, min